Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I'm here to talk just a little about um, looking at the way of looking at things from the astro positive point of view rather than the astral negative. And so here are three examples. One has to do with jobs and that is Either we can go with mass media and we can say, oh, there are hardly any jobs. It might be very hard to find a job. Or we can do like Peggy Black does and we can just start envisioning the perfect job and co-creating that reality for ourselves every day. You know, we have choices. We have choices to change the reality to one where where we, we are who we really want to be. And the, the trick is to catch ourselves thinking what everybody else is thinking and then to change that, that vision uh, to a positive vision, to flip it around. Then there's the issue of abundance. There's the, the idea that in order for me to have all that I want, I have to take something from someone else. The idea of business competition and money competition. This is another idea that I feel is leaving the newosphere. And we ourselves can create a world through positive vision of enough for plenty for everyone. So there's that one. And there's also the idea of the perfect, the perfect soulmate or the perfect relationship, right? And, and when I think about that, the first thing I come across as a woman is the notion that other women, uh, I get on the clear plane the feeling that other women are trying to latch onto someone that I have in mind and prevent me from from having a relationship. And this is what I would call female competition. So, so this is an, uh, something that I learned in my youth that I can pinpoint and turn around as I envision a good relationship with a man. I can turn it around and say, this is my vision. This is my vision of a perfect relationship in which the women all support me. In, in, in happiness, happiness relationship-wise. And, and I think that men could do that too. You know, there's a very strong male notion of competition for women, and they could take like the obverse of this and use that in their own visioning of a co-creation of a of perfect relationship for themselves, again, daily. So the last thing I have that I noticed today in particular has to do with where we live, you know. And in my case, I live in Los Angeles. And on the Clare Plain, I hear all the time all kinds of people seeing bad things about my town, which is the city of the angels and the city that I came to help God and the angels transform to the light. So I'm here on purpose. I'm here to help out and, and, and when I hear these other stories on the internet about how awful it is here and how I need to be elsewhere in order to do the transformational work, before I used to say, well, maybe I should leave, maybe I should go someplace else. But today I got a different answer and, and here it is, I'll show it to you. Okay, here is the view from my back windows and my backyard. You see over there, those are the Santa Monica Mountains. See there? All over there, that those are the Santa Monica Mountains. Just waiting. They're waiting for the Devas to return to them. The Devas come down through the Tijon Conservancy area, and they come down through the the deserted byways and the park spaces and so forth. They come down and finally have come back from time to time to visit these Santa Monica Mountains, which are a pretty big chain of mostly east-west facing mountains that 
run through Los Angeles. And well, th these are the mountains that are going to to help in the transformation of the very earth beneath this great city to the light, to new life on new earth. So, so my thought is this. I find that in the place where I live, which supports the notion of transformation, in my case, these mountains. And when people, when I hear on the internet or in my own heart, I hear that this is the wrong place for me to be and that it's impossible for, to, for me to do the, the work of transforming Earth. I will envision these mountains and the re return of the Davis to these mountains. And I feel in that way that I can, I can t turn the, the space where I live from the negative to the positive. I hope this is of assistance to you all in transforming your own mental and emotional space from the negative to the positive, no matter what anyone says on the Claire Plain or what memories we may have of the past.